battle to this point. Here's Meeks on the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Butler team to Dunleavy on the perimeter. Taj Gibson is out there at Miritich, and it's Brooks in at the one. Jennings can't get it to go. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Drummond's checked in for Detroit. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Fans had a hard time finding their way to the stadium last season for the Pistons at the bottom in several home attendance categories last year. Yeah, that's right, Marvin Hill. I mean, I mean, they used to go a lot when they were winning championships. But, but to be fair to those fans, it was hard at times to watch the Pistons play. I mean, they could get cold and really struggle on their home court. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Now Jennings to the paint, and it's Drummond with the jam. Final basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. The second half has it gone nearly as well for him. He'd only had one before the break in terms of turnovers, but that number's growing. As this game progresses. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Gibson. Saul comes in for Miritich. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Aaron Brooks. Jennings can't get it to go. Ill-advised shot there, Clark. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Three points, We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And here's Rose. And Gasol now top of the key. To the inside. Here's Noah. Rebounded by the Pistons. Drummond's got rebound number five here tonight. Over in the corner, Meeks. And Butler sends it back. They retain possession. Got that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut to just one point on the basket from Ilyasova. Outside, Butler. The offensive rebound goes back up, and the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. 14 points for Derrick Rose. The Pistons have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Yeah, and no doubt last season, the Bulls were clearly preparing for the playoffs. They, they played their rookies, but added a lot of playoff season veterans to that roster. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, over the break, I listened in on Stan Van Gundy's huddle. He told us, guys, I know we can do this, fellas. Let's maximize every possession and get after it and just watch. Things will go our way. Kevin? Meeks dishes to Drummond. Noah with the block. Dunleavy kicks to Rose. Outside Gasol. He dishes it to Butler. The three. And that one's good. And now a six-point Bulls lead. As you mentioned, the Bulls added veteran leaders last season. Pau Gasol was the notable one. 11 Bulls, Clark, had playoff experience prior to their postseason run a season ago. And that's invaluable, Kevin, to have that kind of experience. I mean, having Gasol a two-time champion in the locker room, big, as is having almost a dozen guys who understand the intensity and the details that playoff basketball requires. 
throws against Jennings. He kicks to Morris. Elias Ovis sets a screen for Morris to the inside. Stolen by Noah. Outside Butler. Out to the right wing. Shoots. Rose, no good. Boy, did they need that rebound. I mean, they have struggled on the boards overall, but still with the chance to win. Exactly, because they've made enough plays to keep it close. And as a result, they're still in it. And it's Drummond missing. Chicago leading by eight. Kicks it to Rose. Bulls moving the ball around. And stolen by Ilias Sober. Morris passes to Ilias Sober. Morris with a screen on Buck. They need this. And there's the nice layup by Drummond. Drummond's got four points this quarter. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. This is when the defenders really have to protect the basket. You need to be in sync as a unit defensively. Chicago calls timeout. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. And he's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for Mike Dunleavy. Butler dishes to Rose. Gasol against Ilyasova, and Gasol gets it to go. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. It's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Here is Jennings. McDermott with the double team. Morris kicks to Drummond. Here's Jennings. And good. Got the English that time as he falls. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Rose passes to Noah. Back to Rose. Butler kicks to McDermott. Butler on the way. Noah dishes to McDermott. They get a hand on it. Jennings with the steal. Morris into the lane. Shooting. Free throw. First free throw is good, and that brings them within five. And Morris drops them both. Well, Marcus Morris in this one. He has eight points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. And maybe it's time for them to set a few more screens for him up top and let him add to that total. Butler from outside. It's hauled in by Ilias Hover. Ilias Hover's got three rebounds so far in the game. They get that one, but guys, on the night, that's been the problem, securing the ball. They've been out hustling. At this point, hard to see them recovering from that. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense is giving. He's been a key contributor for them in this quarter. Feeds it to Noah. Back to Butler. The dish to Noah. McDermott kicks it to Noah. Right side, Rose. Let's the three fly. It's good from beyond the arc. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're down by five. 46 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 46 seconds left to play in the final quarter. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Yeah, and in a close game, though, guys, those could be really important points. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on And it's Drummond missing. A chance here to possibly put it out of reach. This is when you really need to maintain your focus. And ladies check in for Doug McDermott. Rose goes in, and that's an intentional foul. Marcus 
Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're losing by eight. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Puts it up off the inbound, and there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Ilya Sova. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. Dishes it to Meeks. Here's Morris. Again, the miss by Morris. Now, here's Rose. Here's Noah. No good. And so it's Chicago winning this one. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Well, a solid team effort tonight, Joe Kim, and the bench certainly a big contribution. How important are the reserves to this team's success? You know, I feel like to get to where we want to get to, we need everybody. And that's our mentality. Well, we're a team that grinds out games, we fight hard, and if we keep doing what we're doing, I think we can do something special this year. We'll look forward to watching it, Joe Kim. Thank you, guys. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. Now time to send you over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the post-game show with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Derrick Rose. The fourth quarter was all him. It was like he couldn't miss, and it was just one basket after another. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunities. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything he put up was going in. We saw Rose explode tonight. His dual threat ability, being able to score or pass equally well, man, that puts him on another level. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon.